friends! Welcome back to my channel, it's Cheyenne, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite game day snacks just in time for the Super Bowl. On the menu today, we've got Rotel Dip, Spicy Barbecue Meatballs, Bacon Wrapped Smokies with Brown Sugar, and Hot Italian Sliders. Now these recipes are things that I've grown up watching my mom make, or things that I found on the internet and have adapted to my preferences, and so I'm really excited to share them with you today. If you like these recipes, be sure to like this video, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the recipes. So to start off, we'll be making our spicy barbecue meatballs, and this recipe is very simple. You'll only need about three ingredients, and you can definitely change this depending on what your preferences are. But first up, I've got a bag of homestyle meatballs. Definitely choose whatever type of meatballs you like to use. Now I've also got this bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It's about 18 ounces. And then for a little bit of spice, I've got a jalapeno as well as a serrano. If you don't want it spicy, feel free to omit. Next up, we are just going to go ahead and throw everything into the crock pot. I will say you can definitely do this on the stovetop as well if you'd prefer. I am just doing it in a crock pot because I'll have multiple dishes going and I find that it's easier to have some things in the crock pot as well. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and just start with my barbecue sauce and then throw in my frozen meatballs and then finally I'll add in my jalapenos and my serranos. If you are choosing to do this on the stovetop, go ahead and just let your sauce simmer for a little bit and then add in the rest of your ingredients. Now I'm just going to give all of that a good stir and then pop the lid on and then I'm going to let these go for about 1-2 to two hours on high or about 3 hours on low. While the meatballs are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my Rotel dip, queso, Rotel, whatever you want to call it. Um, I grew up calling it Rotel so that's how I'll refer to it. But yeah, basically the three core ingredients are Velveeta. So I just have the original kind here, and then some ground beef as well. I'm doing about one pound of 80-20 ground beef, and then finally a can of Rotel tomatoes. You can definitely feel free to sub this with the store brand. I do that sometimes, but for the purposes of this video, I felt like I should use the Rotel brand. Additionally, I'm going to be adding in some sambal oleg because I like a little bit of spice. Depending on the texture you'd like, you can also add in some milk to help thin it out a little bit. And then I also have some spices that I'll be adding in. So I've got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some black pepper, and some chili powder. And I might also add in some cayenne and some paprika just depending on the spice. I will be limiting the salt level however because the Velveeta is quite salty itself. Alright, so I am just going to go ahead and start off by browning my ground beef. So I'm just going to throw that in the pot and then break it up using a wooden spatula. I'm also going to go ahead and get started on seasoning my meat. So I've got all of the seasonings that I mentioned earlier. And then I did decide to go ahead and add in some red cayenne pepper as well. Once the ground beef finished browning, I went ahead and added in the Velveeta cheese as well. And I did go ahead and cut that into blocks just to make it a little bit easier to mix up with the ground beef. Then I went ahead and just mixed that all up until the cheese and the beef were nicely combined. As a side note, you can definitely omit the beef and have this be meatless, or you can swap it with a different type of meat such as chicken, which I've tried before and it's been super good, um, or chorizo would also be very tasty in this. I was cooking the ground beef on medium heat, but with the cheese mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and turn that more to medium low, just to make sure that we don't burn anything, particularly the cheese. Once your cheese is nice and melty, you can go ahead and throw in your can of Rotel tomatoes and mix those in as well. I'm also going to go ahead and add in some of that sambal olek. I honestly just kind of eyeball this and then taste it and adjust according to taste. Um, it looks like I started off with about a quarter of a cup, but I did add some more later on, so we'll see how much I ended up adding in total. But yeah, go ahead and just mix that in if you'd like. Of course, you can feel free to omit this as well. So to make this extra special, because apparently the sambal olek was not enough for me, I also decided to add in some chopped pickle jalapenos just for an extra little kick. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and mix those in with everything else, and of course, um, this is not something that I do every single time, but it just felt right. I also decided to turn the heat down to low since everything is pretty much done, and I just want to keep everything nice and warm. After tasting the Rotel, I did decide that I wanted some more of the Sambal Olek, so in total it looks like I ended up using close to about one half to three quarters of a cup of that. And then at this point, um, everything is actually pretty much done, so I did turn the heat off just because I have other things to cook. But if you're doing this on game day, you can definitely feel free to serve this right away, or you can heat it up later like I will. Here is a quick update on the meatballs. They are looking pretty good and they are pretty much about done. And this was after about one and a half hours on high. Next, we're gonna get started on our brown sugar bacon smokies. So for these, you're going to need some brown sugar, some cocktail smokies, some bacon, and some toothpicks. 
Then, depending on the amount of Smokies in your package, you're going to take 14 to 16 strips of bacon and cut them into thirds. Once you've gathered your sliced bacon, your Smokies, and your toothpicks, you can go ahead and begin to assemble. So basically, you're just going to take one Smokey, wrap a slice of bacon around it, and then secure that with a toothpick and put it on your tray. And of course, you just repeat this process over and over again until you're all out of Smokies. Once all of the Smokies have been assembled, the next step is to just sprinkle them in brown sugar. Here I'm using light brown sugar and kind of just eyeballing the amount based off of what I prefer. Once that's done, you can go ahead and put them in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes to start. Now we're going to go ahead and get started on our spicy Italian sliders. So here I am using a 24 pack of King's Hawaiian rolls, and then I'm just going to use a serrated knife to cut them in half. Now I'm just going to go ahead and throw those buns into a 9x13 baking dish uh, lined with parchment just to make cleanup a little bit easier. And then I am going to go ahead and remove that top layer so that I can go ahead and put the meats and cheeses and peppers on. Next we can begin layering our meats. So I've got some wildflower honey ham, some hard salami, and some sliced pepperoni. So I am just going to begin layering those meats down one by one. I started with the salami and then I went in with the pepperoni and I finished with the ham. And I did end up using the full packages, but honestly, however much meat you use is totally up to you. You can use more if you'd like or you can use less. Now I am going to add a bit of spice by layering on these hot banana pepper rings and then I am also going to use some of these homemade pickle jalapenos that I got from my mom. The final layer is just going to be a cheese of your choice. Here I am using provolone and the footage got deleted of me putting it on there but I promise it is there. And then finally we are just going to go ahead and make some garlic butter. So I've got some unsalted butter here along with a few seasonings including Italian seasoning, garlic powder, salt, etc. And then of course I am just going to go ahead and pour that on and spread it all over the sandwiches. Finally, I am just topping everything off with a little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese, and then I am just going to go ahead and cover this in some foil and then throw it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes to start. Then we are going to remove the foil and bake for an additional 10 minutes. Here's what the Smokies looked like after that initial 30 minutes. I am just mixing them up and then I'm going to toss them back in at 350 for another 10 minutes. So here are the finished sandwiches. I am just going to go ahead and remove those from the pan and then cut them into individual sliders. Alright y'all, so here is a final overview of how everything turned out. Um, I'm realizing now it might not be the prettiest, but it definitely was tasty. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you make any of these recipes, be sure to let me know and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!